Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Subhajit. Welcome to Daily Coding. Today I am going to demonstrate to you that how you can store any list in shared preference. So I have a simple app where I have an edit text, a button and a recycler view. And the feature of this application is to add task in a list and display it to the recycler view. But if I leave this app and reopen it, data goes away. So in such case, I can save that entire list in shared preference and read from there. So let's jump into the Android Studio and see how to do that. And one more thing guys, if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, subscribe it. Alright, now before we start, let me explain you all these codes in brief. So here we have a task list that we have to store in shared preference. And here we have some basic initialization stuff for recycler view and its adapter class. Finally, inside this button add click listener, I'm adding the data in task list and updating the recycler view. So simple enough. And this is where we have to write all our code for saving our error list in shared preference. So I'm going to create a separate Java file and for that right click on the root package new Java class and I name it pref config. Click OK. Now here let's write a method. So I'm going to create a public static void then method name write list in pref. Take context as first parameter and second one for our list. And inside this angle bracket pass the model class or data type. Now create a shared preference object called pref equal to preference manager dot get default shared preferences and pass the context. Now to write data in shared preference we need an editor object and call edit method from the pref object. Then editor.put and here if you notice there has total 6 different data types that we can store in shared preferences. But no such put methods that can save our list. So how could we store our list? Alright, now let me introduce you JSON library which is quite easy to use. And this is one of my favorite library. So I will use this. Now open up your build.gradle of module level. And make sure you have added that library dependency. Now let's move on to the pref config file. And here let's create a JSON object which I will use to convert our list to JSON string. Now we can simply call put string in the editor object and here pass a key for the data and the JSON string. Now declare this list key at the top of this class. Then editor dot apply and that's pretty much it for save our list. Let's write another method for reading that JSON string. So public static list of task model then the method name read list from pref and take one parameter for the context. Now create a shared preference object called pref equal to preference manager dot get default shared preferences and pass the context. Then retrieve the JSON string using list key. Now create a new JSON object, then call JSON dot from JSON and pass JSON string, then pass the type of array list. So right above this line, I have to define this. So type type equal to new type token and inside this angle bracket pass the array list, then angle bracket again and pass the model class. Now opening and closing curly braces then dot get type. 
now return this list we are almost on the edge of this video so let's move on to the main activity and call these two methods and here inside this button add set on click listener let's call pref config dot write list in pref and pass get application context then pass the updated task list now to retrieve that list we can simply call pref config dot read list from pref and pass this for the context now if the task list is equal to null then task list equal to new error list so this check would avoid null pointer exceptions and that's it now let's test it on my android mobile so as you can see app is running and let me add some data very quickly all right now close the application and reopen it so as expected it's really working so guys if you have any questions or suggestions please drop your message in the comment box and if this video helped you a little bit hit the like button that encourage me to make more videos like this one so that's all for now guys see you soon in the next one